probably don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I'm on the back now And welcome to Crafty Chris's stream tonight. Uh, I've filled the edit so bad. It's issue. What is it? It's issue 100. Yeah, issue 100. So, um, yeah, we've got uh, a couple of surprises for you tonight. Um, and no doubt we'll tell you about them in a little while. But uh, in the meantime, here is Crafty Chris. Hi, guys. Yeah, we're out of bingo numbers now. What belong? Is it 130 yeah. issues there is? 140. 140. Oh, it might yeah. be a bit longer then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the first surprise we have for you tonight is uh, we have Yorkshire Crafter, Julie. Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for all your lovely <laughs> messages and concerns about me, but I'm happy to be back. So, yeah. And we're happy to have you back as well. So, yeah, you look rather glowing in that light tonight, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we embarrass anybody, you anymore. <laughs> for anybody that was waiting for the doll's house last night, want Julie, it was me. <laughs> I had to go out and I didn't know whether I'd be back in time. Yeah. So I thought rather gonna, than risk it. Are you going to tell everybody why you had to go out? No, I'll leave that till the end. Okay, all right. Right, okay, so we like leaving surprises till the end. So tonight, Julie's going to do our chat, as usual. I'm going to help Christine with the instructions and the tyre, and um, Christine is going to do most of the bills. So, and as you know, tonight is a working on the tyres of the trailer. So, yeah, this gigantic trailer. And so we'll be doing more tyres on that. But before we get there, we'll bring up the chat. Yep. So first thing we've got Steve, and he's got some looking eyes and waving hands. So hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve. And then we've got Lord Peter saying, hi, Chris, Dave, S, Julie, and Mark. Hi, Peter. Hi, hi Peter. Hello, Peter. Uh, Peter says, hi, Steve. Uh, Gillian says, good evening, Chris, Julie, Dave, and everyone in the chat. Evening, Gillian. Hi, Hi Gillian. Gillian. Me and Dave actually went to meet Gillian last week, and it was lovely after all this time to actually meet up with them. Yeah. Um, but Marish says, evening, everyone in chat as well. Evening, Mary. Hi, ma'am. Um, got Hi, Darth saying, Hi, everyone. Hope Julie is feeling better. Yes, thank you, Darth. Hi, Darth. Hi, Darth. And we've got, got Horlix uh, saying, hi, Chris. Good luck with the show. Hi, Horlix. Hi, hi Horlix. And Horlix says, hi to Steve, to Lord Peter, to Gillian, to Mary, and to Darth. Gillian says, hi, Horlix. And um, we've got uh, Todd at Marble, P Marble Picks. Hello and good evening all. Evening, Todd. Howdy, Todd. Hi, Todd. 
Um, Steve says, Lord Peter, not seen you around for a while, but uh, how you been, lad? Oh. Uh, Steve says, at Horlix, he's waving. Peter says, hi, Gillian, Mary, Todd, Darth, and Alex. Gillian says, hi, Lord Peter. <clears throat> and Peter says, I've been busy building the Disney dollhouse, Steve. Ah. And Steve's put a cool face in. Mm -hmm. I've got Dave Mark. Good evening, everyone. Good luck with you, Bill, Chris. And evening to Sir Dave and to Mark. Hi, Dave Mark. Hi, Dave Mark. Hi, Dave. I've got Steve saying, um, at Dave Mark Bills, evening, young man. Uh, Peter says, hi, Dave Mark. Dave Mark says, evening to Steve, to Peter, to Gillian, to Mary, to Dave, to Alex and to Todd. Gillian says, good evening, Dave Mark. Todd says, how many issues are there? 140. So another 40 issues to go. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, good evening, everybody. Hi, love. Hi, Mark. Uh, Dave Mark says, uh, evening, Julie. Nice to see you back. Thank you, Dave Mark. Uh, Julian says, good evening, Julie. Evening, Julian. Steve says, evening at Julie. Evening, Steve. Uh, Peter says, good to see the lovely Yorkshire style back. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> uh, Mark says, didn't want to say hello in chat till Julie appeared. Oh. I've <laughs> uh, got Jordy Dave. Evening, everyone. And hi, Julie. Hope you're feeling better. Yes, evening. Thank you, Jordy. Hi, Jordy Dave. Peter says, hi, Mark. Gillian says, good evening, Mark. Horlick says, yay, welcome back, Julie. Thank you, Horlick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mark says, hi to Peter and to Gillian. Dan Mark says, evening, Jordi and Mark. And then we've got somebody over on Facebook that says, hello, and they're waving. So hello from Facebook. Hello, Facebook user. Hi. Alex, uh, guess. Yeah, guessing, yeah. Alex D, yeah. Uh, Horlick says, hi, Mark. Uh, Mark says, hi, Dave, Mark. Mark says, hi, Horlick. Uh, Dave says, hope you're strong. The trailer weighs a lot with two wheels attached. Five pounds, six ounces, to be precise. Goodness wow. me, that's a small baby, isn't it? Goodness oh. me. Uh, Gillian says, thank you. It was lovely meeting you both. Yes. Yeah, uh, and Jordy says, hi, Todd. Whoops, that one first. Uh, Peter says, hi, Jordy. Jordy says, hi, Peter and Dave Matt. And Todd says, didn't want to get personal, but people are related in these streams. Who, be who belongs to whom? <laughs> well, I belong to Crafty Chris, which is not that one put that way. So I belong to Crafty Chris and Mark uh, Max Mods belongs to Yorkshire Crafter. So and Gillian's dots belongs to Geordie Dave. So and um Dano's universe is Geordie and Gillian's son. So I hope that's cleared you up a little bit. But yeah, Mark and Julie. Are obviously married. Me and Christine, no, it's up that way. <laughs> up that way. Me and Christine are obviously married. So, and Gillian's dot and Jordy Dave are obviously married. So, yeah. Now, our Facebook user was Sharon. Oh, hello, Sharon. Ah. Right. Okay. So, shall we crack on, Chris, a little bit? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, right. Oh. Um, uh, I'm, I'm slacking. It's no good. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I mean, if you see the show, Todd, obviously, me and Christine are just um, about 15 feet apart. Um, there's like a passageway in between this room and the room that Christine's in. So, um, yes. So that's where we are. And uh, then generally, uh, Mark and uh, 
Yorkshire Craft are there, they're like next room to one another. So obviously they yeah, can pop. Like yeah, they can pop in like that. So mm -hmm. and you'll probably see me pop across to Christine's in a minute. So because I'll be doing her, I'll be doing her tire. <laughs> <laughs> right okay so this is issue 100 and 100 says it's the left inner front wheel is assembled and attached to the outer wheel from the previous issue okay so it's the inner rear trailer wheel i'm getting confused with all these inners outers fronters backs uh, trailer wheels uh, and that's because on the on this trailer here there will be eight wheels so four on one side and four on the other side there will be eight wheels and that's why we're getting a bit left front left right back rear left right you know whatever so um that's why we're getting a bit confused so let's go through the parts checklist then chris and um and we'll crack on so the patch checklist is 101 or 101 which is the tire which is in a bowl of boiling water is it not it says yeah yeah okay so 102 is the internal wheel hub mounting let's go full camera for you forgot about that bit didn't we two, so, is, that one, then? two is that one yeah with like a uh, a keyway in the center yeah so um 103 is the outer rim for the inner front trailer wheel and you can see where we all we get mixed up now because we've got the outside rim for the inner front wheel trailer trailer wheel okay so that's the big round one so 104 is the inner rim for the inner front trailer wheel Okay, and that's that one. 104 is the big one, Craig. Yeah. The big donut type one. So 105 is the wheel coupling part. That's the plastic one you just showed me. And yeah. we've got two lots of screws. We've got DD03 screws. And we've got 11 of them. Yeah. So DD03s times 11. And we've yeah. got DD elevens, and we've got three of them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So, what is the first thing it says to do then? Well, surprise, surprise. On step one, it says, um, take the two rim parts, uh, one hundred or three and one hundred or four, and for the left. Uh, inner front wheel check how they fit together uh, so that the screw holes are aligned and then step two says fix the wheel rim parts together with four dd03 screws okay while she's doing that do you want to bring up the rest of the chat please Julie? yep um so we've got todd says a family affair love it <laughs> I've um, got Lee saying hi all. Hi Lee. Hi Lee. And Steve says Matt's mods just watched your pipe work. Uh, uh, Peter says hi Lee. I've um, got John's model making saying evening all. Evening John. Hi John. Thanks for thanks for viewing. Uh, Dave Max says hi John. John says hi Dave. Uh, Steve, I can see a lot of wrong wheel parts being sent out by Border QC. <laughs> yeah, Board Quality Control. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and Peter says, hi, John. And um, that is chat for now. Thank you, Julie. Okay, we're getting on. You've got some of them in. Are they going into metal? Yeah, don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Go steady. We'll tell you what's going on in a minute. <laughs> 
I'm not there at the minute. <laughs> it's not me. Oh. oh. I think I must have jinxed you, Chris, what I said at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, you must have done. <laughs> right so it's tire in it okay so that's um step three now this shows the inner rear wheel assembled and then step four says place the tire in a hot bowl of water uh, to slightly soften it make sure it's more supple and alternatively you can use a hair dryer and then step five says, when the water is cool enough to touch, remove the tyre and drive it over the wheel uh, with rim, as in steps one and two. So I will mute my mic and I'll come and join you in there to do that. So here I am. Where's the point? This is a joke. Where's the joke? <laughs> oh dear. I think it's I'm still getting over Todd's uh over in the relationship with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know, yeah. So I've got the I've got the wheel. It is my ear, honestly. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah, I see. <laughs> it just made me laugh so much. Who's, who's with who? <laughs> right, so we've got a squashy tire. Okay, and it goes onto this wheel rim here. Okay, so we're going to have to try and get it on like we did before. Do -do -do -do. And Christine is not able to do all this because she's had one of her wrists done, but she's got to have the other one done. And so she's not able to do this sort of thing with these strong tyres, which is fair enough, like, isn't it? Because they are quite a devil to get on, some of these. If you built a part wax, you'll know. I think the bus ones was easier. I think the bus ones was a bit easier, yeah. Uh, the only thing is with this, you've got to make sure that they're all nice and round all the way around. Uh, just check in. Yeah, I think that'll do it nicely. So, yeah, I think that'll do it. Yeah, sure it will. There we go. Right. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I'm back. Right, so we've now got to move on to fitting the wheels together. So uh, step one says, from issue 99 and issue 100, you've got to fit them two wheels together. So it says, take the wheel from the previous issue and check how the two rims fit together. Three raised screw holes in the inside of the outer rear wheel fit into the recessed screw sockets on the outside of the inner wheel rim arrows so you put them together um yeah it's something like that i think yeah it will just let me have a look at your wheel rim no. yeah something like that and it says fix in place with three ddo3 screws once you've got it lined up. One, two, three. So you've got it lined up and it's in there properly. So you've got to fix it together with three DDO3 screws. And there's a little bit of chat, Julie, while she's doing that. There is. <coughs> We've got Dano saying hello, everyone. Hi, Dano. Hi, Dano. Hi, Dano. And we've got Peter saying hi, Dano. We've got John saying hi, Peter. Uh, Mark says thanks to Steve. Uh, Dave Mark says hi, Dana. And then Steve says that's what the Dave's are for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we've got another comments just come in. 
I haven't got D. A very good evening, all. Been too long. Evening, D. Hey, D. Thanks for joining. I was on last week, one time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the dolls' house we haven't been doing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now you've done that with them three screws, you're moving on to step five of that instruction, and you've got to take the wheel hub mount mounting. 102. Now that's the one with the keyway in the center, I believe. Oh, just a minute. Just a minute, Chris. Yeah, it is. No, we've got to backpedal a minute. We've missed one. The other round bit, you've got to put that in. That's it. So turn that upside down so that it faces inward. Uh, take the internal wheel coupling part 105 and fit it into the centre of the inner wheel rim part 103 in the wheel assembly. Fix in place with three DDO3 screws. Sorry about that. That was my turning the page too quickly before we move on to the next step. You must be just getting used to me racing off in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just uh... yeah. Without without noticing it, I, mo I moved it over to the next page. But it's the same screws and it's like, you know, it's just a little bit of plastic that's going in. So you'll see what I mean in a minute once you get that in. That's it. So you've got all them three in. So um, step five then is take the wheel hub mounting 102 and fit it in the center of the wheel assembly on top of part 105 as shown. It is not fixed in place at this stage. So it goes in, I do believe. You've got to look at it uh, carefully because it's got a L on it, I think. Near the centre. Has it got an L on it? No. Turn it over the other way. Ah. Has it got an L or an R? Don't know. Okay. So it's not fixed in place at this stage, but um, I know it's going to be fixed in state. In it's going to be fixed in shortly. Right. Okay. For now, then you're going to need your trailer chassis because you're going to be fitting the wheels to the chassis. Okay, not only chassis, you've just got one axle, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, one axle. So, um, you've actually got it the opposite way around to what the magazine is. The magazine is the other way around. So, what we'll do is we'll put the one, that one. That one, yes. Okay, take the trailer chassis from issue 98 and the wheel and hub mounting from the previous stage. Note that the internal wheel hub mounting, 102, is labelled with an L. Is that correct? Is it no, I can't with... see one, but it must be. It's out of that bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So looking at the instructions, Chris, it looks as though the dist part goes inwards, like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, step three says, place the trailer chassis assembly upside down on the work surface, fit part 102, 102 uh, onto the left-hand 
end of the rear axle. Uh, the centre part of 102 is shaped to fit over the end of the axle uh, and the left transverse torsion bar, 9803, fits into the hole in the rim part of 102. This is a push fit connection. Thin. It's okay, jolly good. Right. So the next step then is step four, and it says... Uh, with the wheel hub mounting 102 in place, take the wheel assembly from the previous steps and fit it on the end of the axle. Yeah, looks like it's the right way. Yeah, okay. And um, on that stage, then it says stage five, fix in the wheel in place with a PWM screw, which is a DD11. Okay, a DD11 screw. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, so there's a little bit more chat, Julie, if you want to bring up that up before we move on. Yeah. <clears throat> so Steve says, at Daniel's Universe, and he's waving. Peter says, hi, D. D says, a very good evening, host. Evening, D. Hey, up, D. Thanks for joining. Dave Mark says, evening, D. How are you? Uh, Steve says, uh, D. Harris, evening, young man. How do? Oh, how go? From Steve. Uh, we've got Lee saying, hi, Dave Mark. D says, Steve, not hot, <laughs> not hot enough. Only 27 degrees today. Hi. <laughs> I think we've had enough of that for now. Yeah, it's been considerably cooler today, and we've had some rain as well. Yeah. Do you know, I think Morrison's have turned up all their eating. It was freezing in there again. Oh, gosh. Uh, Dave Mark says, hi, Lee. Uh, Steve's got uh, some crying laughing faces. Yeah. Uh, he says, a good evening, Lord Peter. D says, a good evening, Mark's Mods. Steve says, D. Harris, when I was in Death Valley, it was only 115. Wow. Goodness me. Uh, Mark says, evening, D. D. says, a good evening, Dave Mark. Steve says, uh, D. Had your coffee? Question mark. And um, we've got a little history. Evening all. Big hi, chat. Big hi. Hi, MCC UK. Hi, at Crafty Chris. Hello, Little History. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Little yeah. History. Uh, Dave Mark says, hi, Terry. And Peter says, hi, Terry. And that is chat for now. Thank you, Julie. Right, okay. So we'll let's, let's move on then to the next step. And that step is, I do believe, doing exactly the same as what we've just done. But on the other side. So the next step is six. Uh, turn the chassis around so that you can fit part 9302 labelled with an R uh, to the right hand end of the axle uh, so that the transverse torsion bar 9804 is pushed in place. Well, that one does have an R on it. Okay. So you do know you've got them right way around then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Champion. Okay, are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, jolly good. So step seven then says fit the wheel assembly initial 93 onto the right hand uh, rear axle and fix in place with a DD11 screw. And uh, just to remind you all that this is only four tyres on there and it's going to have eight tyres on there when we get the other axle. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, okay. Just getting notifications through of John Dave and Dano's stream, which is directly after this one at 8 p.m. for building the Titanic. Okay, Chris? Yeah, that one spins better than that one. Mm hmm. Don't forget, of course, it could be like the root master and they could come loose a little bit later on. So uh, the next step says you can fit uh, one of the magnetic hub caps 9814 supplied with issue 98 in the center of the right hand wheel. And then it says you can turn it around and fit the other uh, hub cap, magnetic hub cap into the left hand side of the wheel. So, but I'm going to suggest to you that you leave them in your box of parts. Yeah. Uh, just in case they need tightening up a bit later on in the build. Okay. So, other than that, then, that is completed work. Well done. Uh, the second rear wheel has been assembled and the wheels have been fitted to the rear axle of the trailer. Well done, love. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So, um, now for the next bit of exciting news that's coming next week. What will that be next week? In issue 101. Hmm. I wonder. Issue 101 will be. Outer rear wheel. Outer rear trailer wheel, tire, wheel inside rim. It's just a wheel again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, next week is just another wheel. So, <laughs> so yeah, another wheel. Okay, so well done. So, have you got? Um, so you've got that right in the camera, so which is great. Are you going to put that down and? I'm going to move it over. You're going to move it over, right? Okay, because I think you've still got something to show people, haven't you? Yes. Okay. I'll let you just organise that then. And um, there is a little bit of chat, so we'll bring the chat up before Christine has to show you something. Okay. Uh, so we've got D says, Steve, as soon as I got into the hotel, I had left them to check in. Oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, Steve's got a cool face. And D says, Julie, also glad to see you back on your feet. Thank you, D. Uh, we've got Steve saying, Crafty Chris, looking good. Yeah. D says, and a good evening to the rest of the chat also. Peter says, another proper job by the lovely Chris, Julie, and Dave S. Thank you. <laughs> Dave Max says, excellent excellent work, Chris, and well done to Sir Dave and Julie. Another great show. Thank you. John says, well done, Chris, Julie, and Dave. Thank you. Gillian says, well done, and a big thumbs up. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Lee says, good stream, big thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, D says, good job, Chris. Missed the start, so I watched the start shortly and also of videos and streams to keep me busy for the next fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Peter says, kitten, munching time sweets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Steve says, ah, oh, cats. Yeah. Dano says, is the cat a freebie with the next issue? LOL. <laughs> get you one, get you one. Yeah, we, can, uh, we know where you get one. Uh, Mary says, good show. Well done, all three. Thank you, love. So, yeah, we're introducing you now to our new uh, kitten. Uh, he's come to stay with us. And, um, yeah, his name is Rusty. So... Uh, there is Rusty the kitten is uh, very nearly eight weeks old and um, 
yeah, is a little tear away, as you can tell. <laughs> That's what I was pulling faces for her, knowing about when I was building, it was trying to climb up my legs. <laughs> and <laughs> claw that <shell>. <laughs> Yeah. So, there we are. It just gone back to sleep before we finished. It did. Oh, bless. Oh. So yeah, we um, we are ever so sorry about uh, not streaming the doll's house last night, uh, but we had to pick him up last no night. So it was his fault, yeah. So it was your fault, little one. It was. <laughs> He's off a farm, but the mother actually gave birth to him in the airing cupboard. So he has been handled a lot with him with it being inside because i said to lee i hope you're going to that farm every day to give that kitten a love i said i don't want out that's wild and you know he is so good for his age he's using his literature he's eating drinking biscuits yeah <clears throat> yeah just can't fault him apart from his claws in my legs yeah <laughs> yeah my claws he says my claws oh you don't he looked right in the camera then, his blue eyes. He did, yeah. He did, didn't you? Eh? Rusty. Yes, yeah, so you can hear me, can't you? Eh? <laughs> right, yeah. okay. So that's Kitty Cam. So you can now ask Christine how, um, how Rusty is doing uh, week in, week out, and she'll tell you. Okay. So, okay. So right. I'll put us all three yep. back on now. Oh. Uh, I think there's a little bit more chat, Julie. There is, yeah. Uh, so Todd says, oh, kitty cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> D says, evening, Todd. John says, night all. Night, John. Hey, John. Night, John. Uh, Todd says, little pink jelly bean toes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dan Mark says, night, John. Uh, Peter says, I'll have done up to 86 by next Dolls House video. So able to relate the build finally. Yeah. Uh, Peter says, night, John. And we've got Steve. How does he get on with your dog? He gets on fine with the dogs. The only trouble is um, Willow's a bit heavy pawed, but yeah. the cat is standing up to him. Yeah. If he gets fed up, he'll, he sits and dabs him and actually sends him on his way. Yeah, he does. Which is unbelievable for him being so little. Yeah. Laugh last night. He was out and he went behind the chair, down the side of the chair. And Willow's watching for him coming out, and he got fed up of waiting, so he laid down, and he's still watching down side of this chair. And then all of a sudden, he heard a noise and realised that he wasn't there no more. He'd come out the other side. Oh dear! Oh dear! Yeah. <laughs> right. So Dave Max says, uh, "Rusty looks like my old cat, Eric." Oh. Oh bless. He says, a good night, host. See you soon. Good night, D. Okay, now. Dave Mark says, night, D. Dad says, are the dogs happy? Yeah, dog. Yeah. 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 Oh, dog, yeah. Uh, D says, night, Dave Mark. D says, a good night, Sir Steve. Uh, Peter says, little kitten, big attitude, LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Steve says, uh, D. Harris, night, my lord. Good vacation. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. it then, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, after we, after tonight's stream, head over to Jordy, Dave, and Dano's channel for Build the Titanic. Uh, I think you'll find Horlicks on there. You'll find Dano's Universe. You'll find Jordy, Dave. And you'll find Yorkshire Crafter as well. So, yeah, on uh, Jordy, Dave's channel uh, at 8 p.m. tonight. 
um that's 20 minutes town so you've not got long to wait time to just uh, go and make a cup of tea and wash the pots from the from your tea town which i haven't done yet so <laughs> so that's my jobs anyway so, right okay um a little bit more chat and then we'll say our goodbyes if you like yeah so we've got d says cheers steve and then holic says cuteness overload looks like my kizzy is a kitten oh yeah. and then we've got peter saying good night uh, good night all till next time stay safe and take care all yeah thank okay. you peter. uh dear mark says night peter oops okay. yeah no just another one from todd <laughs> have a great evening all yeah thank you good night <laughs> right okay well um so tomorrow evening is wednesday and i do believe there's an mcc uk going out tomorrow evening so and um we're hoping that the mcc uk will be back on pretty much every fortnight now so uh, right up to christmas of course so yeah mcc uk tomorrow evening at uh, 8 p.m so that's Wednesday. So I think Thursday there's something going on with Dano's Universe, and I think it's the um, the Tumblr Enterprise. Enterprise. Oh, yeah. Enterprise, yeah, Enterprise or the Tumblr. I've forgot, I've forgotten which, uh, but they'll let you know later on tonight. So and then uh, just in the um, in a few weeks' time, we'll be restarting the Bedford show, and that'll be on a Saturday. And uh, there'll be me, Horlicks, and Lindsay's Bills on the on the Bedford Bedford show on a Saturday evening. So, okay, so there's quite a lot to look forward to, and we will be doing the schedule uh, as we did before. Uh, we've had a quite a lovely um, summer break, even though July's weather was very disappointing. August was a bit uh, disappointing at the beginning, but September was a bit too warm. Uh, well, I should say late October, late August, September was a bit too warm for everybody. So, uh, who knows English? We're uh, not happy with uh, the weather one way or another, are we? So, anyway, <laughs> we'll get over it, no doubt. So, anyway, it's a good night from me. Take care, and I'll let Chris uh, close the show after Julie said uh, goodbye. So, good night from me. Take care now. Yeah, so I'll be uh, taking a bit of a step back from the uh, Titanic just for the time being. I think Mark's going to do the next few shows at least. So I'm just not sat for long periods of time, just get up and yeah. move it. And so he'll be uh, doing at least the next couple of shows. But um, yeah, thank you for joining Chris tonight and all your lovely chat and support as always. And uh, I'll uh, see you on Monday for the uh, Disney Dollhouse. So have a great week. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Um, at least now we've got some wheels on. It's what we've been waiting for. Mm. I just thought that was never going to go on. Yeah. But yeah, taking shape. Definitely. So yeah, have a great week, guys, and I'll see you next Monday for the Dolls House. Until then, stay safe, and it's good night from me. Good night, everyone. Take care now. Bye.